You know, the thing is about golf, it can be very much overcomplicated at times. And today's video is a very simple thought process to take onto the golf course to hopefully get you striking your irons far better than you might be currently. Now, today's video couldn't be any more simple and straightforward. It comes from Seguto Golf. Uh, Tom Seguto is, well, he's mad as a box of frogs, to be honest with you, but he's a very popular YouTube channel and uh, he very much simplifies the golf swing, probably leans towards, and that's a good uh, analogy of the stack and tilt method of coaching but we're going to take something from the well a very simple and effective swing thought that brought into your game will have a significant impact on the way you impact the golf ball in terms of quality of strike I watched this video first time round and I thought you know what that is so simple it's just one very simple move should I really replicate this and bring in a video on my channel? And I thought, no, do you know what? The problem is we very much overcomplicate things quite often. So I am going to tell you about a very simple move that I've adopted into my game that has helped me significantly. So what is it? Well, it's understanding where my left shoulder is in terms of a right-handed golfer in the backswing predominantly and how by focusing on that one element can improve your strike. So if I take a normal address position, get to the top of my backswing, you'll notice that my uh, left shoulder comes under my chin and my left eyeball seems to be directly over the ball as does my left shoulder. I feel like I'm in a pretty good position at that point. A bad position for me is this, I get into that situation and I start to move so rather than rotate I start to sway and move back and if I stop there what you'll probably be able to see from the camera is that my left shoulder is now considerably behind the ball as is my left eyeball and it feels like I'm somewhere around here the problem with that sway is if I don't get back to the ball using tempo and timing, which sometimes can work, then I've got a situation where I'm likely going to be stuck behind the ball a little bit, and that's going to severely impact on the result of how I hit the golf ball. So how do I ensure then that I stay over the ball in a better position? And it's quite simple. I just forget about everything else in terms of where my hands are going, what I'm doing in terms of follow through, I'm, I'm stripping it right back down. I'm only going to have one thought process for this next round that I'm going to play golf. And that is my left shoulder is going to be the key. And the left shoulder is going to come under my chin and it's going to stop directly over the ball. So I'll take some practice swings and I'll get there and I'll start to see where my chin is. Now if I'm starting to move off, which I can often do with I practice warm up, I know that's not right. So I'm get back to the ball and concentrate on where your left chin is. Now I know that sounds really simple. I get it, because when I watched it, I thought, Jesus Christ, this can't be a video. This is just like, all you're doing is, well, where, where's your left chin? But then I tried it. Now I'd also try and pair this with another video. I said, don't take a lot of swing thoughts out, but these two tie in together. There's a, a link above right now that takes you to a video where we put a T-peg just in front of the ball. And it's about making sure you strike down on your irons and that you try and get your low point forward of the ball. And all I've been doing on the golf course is taking those two thought processes. And that's all I'm trying to do. You'll see my scuff in the ground is just after the ball. So shoulder. You'll see how solid that is. But that'll carry the green, by the way. We're, uh, we're a long way um, too far forward. But there's two things. Just how good was that strike, how straight was the ball flight. You'll also notice, I'll get a bit of a close-up afterwards, you'll see where my ball is positioned and where the divot is, is after the ball. So my low point, my low point is there simply because I've managed, or one of the main reasons I feel is because I've stayed over the ball, I've stayed in a good position, which allows me to deliver a little bit of lag, a little bit of co compression subconsciously so i'm not trying to do anything i'm not concentrating on what i'm doing with my hands i'm not trying to compress the ball but just by staying in this position i'm therefore just coming down and i'm compacting the ball and as i said at the beginning of this video it is so damn simple and i'll 
tip my hat to Tom Seguto because all his videos are the same. They're very, very simple and my video is going to end. That's it. That's it. Today's video is done. But I want you to go out on the golf course and I want you to have one thought process and that's where your left shoulder is um, as a right-handed golfer. And obviously, right shoulder as a left-handed golfer. Where does it get to? Where is it over the ball? Just concentrate on that one thing alone and come back to me next week and tell me how much impact it's had on the quality of your strike. And I guarantee it will be vastly improved. Right, thanks to Tom. Go and check out his channel. If you don't think my explanation was uh, good enough, go and see the initial original video rather and uh, listen to Tom. But I think it's fairly straightforward. I think I can relay that one okay, but go and have a look at it. Go and support Tom's channel as well. And talking of support, if you're new to this channel, I'm an average golfer just like you. I watch lots of YouTube tuition videos and I try them myself and then I try and interpret them and relay them back to my audience. And hopefully along the way that I get a, become a better golfer and uh, you do as well. That's the hope and that's the thought process of the Testing the Tips channel. So I'd appreciate any support. And if you consider subscribing, it would of course be greatly appreciated. That's me done, simple, very effective. Concentrate on that left shoulder, get it under your chin. I'll see you all soon.